Welcome or welcome back at any help at C squared. In this example, we're going to sketch the graph of a piecewise function, how it's called, and we're going to uh, identify the domain and the range of this piecewise function. First of all, let's see what a piecewise function is. And you see that down here is a function, like in this case, who has two pieces. The first one here says x minus 2, when x, let me put a comma here, less or equal 0. And the second piece says hey, this function behave like this, negative x minus 3, when x is greater than 0. So this is a piecewise function. In this case, we have two pieces, and they uh, acting based on these two algebraic equation, relation, if you want to call it like that. But first of all, I'm going to start with something that is easy, the domain of this piecewise function that is easy because you look to these two statements, which says, hey, this is x less or equal 0. So if you remember, x stands for the domain. And this one says x greater than 0. So the domain is the union. We put these two guys together. So hopefully you see the domain is all real numbers. So I'm going to write it like that. And I'm going to also write something else. I'm going to write it what we call the interval notation. And you see this one says uh, open interval, negative infinity, comma, infinity, close the uh, interval with a parenthesis. So it's the same thing. Now, for the range, the way we're going to find the range is by uh, using the graph. So let's move to the graph. And I said here for sketching the graph, you can use a table. In fact, I think it's the best way to do it especially in this case for this uh, piecewise function. So I'm going to put here x and f of x. And my first thing is to look to this dividing point, how I like to call it, which one? Zero, right? You notice this zero is the moment where something happens. At the left of zero, we have this equation. At the right of zero, we have the other equation. And I'm going to put that zero twice in the table, zero and zero. The first zero is going to be for the first piecewise function and the second one for the uh, second piecewise uh, piece of the piecewise function. Okay. Um, now, of course, you may say, oh, what about the second piece? And we'll see. We'll see what's going on there. And I'm going to start with this first zero. And uh, I'm going to evaluate the function at zero. So I'm going to have f of zero. And that will be, and again, 0 belongs to this piece. That will be 0 minus 2, and that will be negative 2. So this is the point 0 and negative 2, 0 and negative 2. That means this point here, and that's one point. Now, I want another point that will go with that piece of the piecewise function. So I'm going to go to the left of 0, and I'm going to see, for example, negative 1. So when x equals negative 1, I'm going to do f of negative 1. And what piece? Again, the same piece, this piece, because negative 1 is a number that is less than 0, less or equal 0. So you have here negative 1 uh, minus 2, and that will be negative 3. Okay, so we have negative 1 and negative 3. This is the second point. And now we have enough to graph this part, this piece of the piecewise function. This is what I'm talking about. Notice I have an ray, an arrow goes down there, because that is the uh, area where this graph comes from. Okay, and it stops here at 0 and negative 2. All right. So now let's see what's happened to the right. So for that reason, we're going to uh, look to number greater than 0. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this 0. And it's what I'm doing here is just a way to help me to see where this function starts from. So I'm going to do again x equals 0. And I'm going to have f of 0. And that will be negative 0 minus 3. And that will be negative 3. Okay. Now this point we have here is really not legal. Right? It's something that helps us to 
sketch the graph. Look at here what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an empty dot here because it is not equal to zero. The function, this piecewise function, is going to go close and close to this point uh, zero and negative three. But now I'm going to move to the right of zero and I'm going to go with one. So let's see what's happened on x equals 1, and we have f of 1. Now we use this piece, because 1 is a number greater than 0, and we have negative 1 minus 3, and that will be negative 4. So we have this point 1 and negative 4, which is this one. Now we have enough information to draw the second part, the second piece of this piecewise function, which is this ray. Okay, you need more uh, points, you can, and you plot them, and then you will see the, it fits this pattern. In fact, I have the picture here also. You can see it, but again, I'm going to emphasize full dot here because we have the equal sign here, empty dot here because we do not have the equal sign, but again, use it as a tool to help you to see how the graph looks like. If you, oh, let's go to the last part, the range of the things. The range, the range means the y, right? What is the y we get out from this function? If you notice, and we look into this picture, these are the y's we get out. Y is any number less or equals negative 2. Nothing more than negative 2. So if you need an interval notation, then that will be this way, negative infinity, negative 2. And he be careful here, bracket, because it can be negative 2. And that's it. If you enjoyed this example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-score for more help. Thank you.